Hello, David here with a quick demo of the ARA web application interface. Uh, so what's ARA? Um, ARA records uh, Ansible playbooks uh, seamlessly to make them easier vi to visualize, understand, and troubleshoot. Um, ARA doesn't run your playbooks. It integrates um, with Ansible wherever you run it. Um, so the here we have the homepage of ARA where we uh, highlight the different database uh, records that it has uh, available for you. There we see it has uh, three or five playbook runs, uh, it has tasks, it has results, hosts, host facts. Um, it saves uh, the playbook files uh, and role and task files that you have um, and records. There's no records here, but we'll get into that later. So what's great about the ARA is the report interface. Uh, so let's uh, go and take a look at that. So here we have a list of the playbooks that um, ARA has in its database right now. Uh, from, from this list, at a, at a quick glance, we can easily see that um, what's the status of those playbooks. So this one failed. Uh, this one uh, failed as well, this one was successful, um, and so on. It will also tell you if it, um, a playbook run is currently in progress or if it was interrupted and uh, the data will be incomplete. Uh, after that, so we have the date at which the playbook ran. Pretty straightforward. Um, then we have the full path to the playbook file as well as the Ansible version that the playbook ran on. If you click on the, um, on the playbook file, uh, the actual playbook file comes up with the full, uh, the full path and so on. And then you have the code um, in the actual playbook file. So you're able to see what, what the playbook looked like at the moment that it ran. After that, you have the duration of the playbook. So it's one took five minutes, 20 seconds, 29 seconds. After that, you have the hosts that were involved in the playbook. So here we, we just have one host. Um, uh, they, they were, there were no facts uh, recorded, uh, gathered uh, for this playbook run. But if facts would have been gathered, uh, there would be facts there. Uh, we'll take a look at that, at that uh, in another playbook run. So after that, you have um, the different uh, task uh, stats for, for each host. So this one has 50 OK, zero changed, one failed. And, and we'll look at um, how we can find out uh, which task failed uh, pretty easily later on. Uh, and then you have the plays. Uh, the, this one uh, playbook only has one play. Uh, but if there would be uh, many, you would see them here. Uh, so there's the name of the play, you have the start date, the end date, um, and then the duration of the play. Uh, next, we have the list of files. Um, so ARA saves all of the files that are involved as part of your playbook. Uh, so of course, there's the playbook file um, that we saw earlier. So you'll find the playbook file um, there as well. It's the same file. It's not it's not saved twice or anything. Um, but then you also have your if you're using roles in your playbooks, you'll have uh, role files. So here we see um, there's a, there's a task file from the pip install role, um, and it's the actual uh, task um, file. So you can you can look at what exactly um, your playbook ran with. Um, so next we have the task results. So this is where it gets uh, really awesome. Uh, so you have the task name, uh, pretty easy. You have the host that ran this particular task. Then you have the action. So here we have a, an include vars action. If we click on the action, um, it brings you to the task file that ran so that we have here the include vars task and then um, it highlights the particular task that this action uh, was involved in. So you're really able to see um, the context in which this particular task ran. Then you have the uh, elapsed um, column. 
So this is the, the amount of time relative to the beginning of the playbook. So for example, this particular one uh, was executed 20, 22 seconds after the playbook started. So the, the way it's sorted by default is the, from the beginning of the playbook, but you can, um, you can sort it the other way around to have the end of the playbook first and then uh, down to the beginning. So you have the duration uh, of, the, of each task. So this one took five seconds, this one took two, this one took one, and so on. And you can also uh, sort the duration so that you're able to see uh, which task uh, took the longest, for example. Um, so then you have the status. Um, so you have OK, skipped, uh, failed, and so on. So uh, if you click on the status, you're able to see um, all the data that um, Ansible makes available to you through the module. So this is usually pretty verbose, um, but it, it, it's essentially the same thing as if you would have you would have ran uh, Ansible in verbose mode uh, most of the time. Um, what's great is that it's not printed in your console, right? So it's pretty readable. Uh, you only get to see what you want to see. Um, so you have the results are paginated um, so that it's more, it doesn't take up too much screen real estate. Um, and then you have this uh, search box here. Um, the search box allows you to search uh, from any column, basically. So say I want to search uh, by task name, I would search remove and then it would show me all the tasks would remove into task name. Or I could search the host name because if there would be results for more, more than one host, uh, they would all be shown here. There's only one host for this one, so it's not super relevant. Uh, but say I want to uh, search for an action, so I search template, and it comes up with config template as well as template. It's not, it's not uh, an absolute search. Um, but you can also search by status. So we saw we had a failed task earlier, and then we so we're able to see uh, super easily uh, which particular task uh, failed and then same thing as earlier we go and check um, which where where this task was ran what's the context uh, where it happened and then we can go and dig into the actual detailed results um, to figure out what happened exactly um, so then you have the records so records is a is a feature um, specific to ARA. Uh, so uh, the ARA record module allows you to record um, arbitrary persistent data that will be displayed here. So there's no there's no records for this particular playbook. So uh, let me show you just real quick what it, what it looks like. So we have this other uh, test playbook uh, that we ran. It has, uh, it recorded a, a couple of, of, of things. Um, and what's great about this is that it allows you to, to give a type to, um, uh, to the data that you record. So it can be a dict or the URL, just raw text, or a, a dict, uh, a dictionary or a list, and it will be rendered appropriately. Um, in the future, we could do things like um, rendering a markdown or restructured text, for example, or other ideas users might come up with. Uh, so this allows you to record just about anything. Uh, here, um, earlier I, to I, I told you about uh, host facts. So here we have facts that, are, that have been gathered as part of this playbook. Um, so here we see the IP address, the FQDN, uh, the distribution, and so on and so forth. Um, and and, and the, the, this quick snapshot is searchable. So you could go and search for Fedora, but you know there's no Fedora host, so it's not showing anything. But I could go and search for CentOS. And since this is a CentOS node, it would show up. So if you're running on different hosts with different facts, you could filter results that way. You can search for, um, so, uh, so let's search for, uh, say, uh, OZIC. Uh, OZIC is part of the FQDN, so it would show up, and the, the IP address also, if you wanted to. Or, par or part of the IP address, it's, it's like a pattern matching. Um, and then if you want to see all of the host facts, you can just click on the host. That brings up the full list of the facts that um, Ansible recorded. 
Um, and the last updated here is important, right? Because your host will change over time. But um, when the facts were gathered, uh, it was a point in time. Uh, so this is all of the host facts that it, that are were for this host um, when the playbook ran. Well, um, I guess that's it. That's uh, that's a quick overview of Era. I hope you liked it. Um, come and uh, ask us questions and uh, to users and developers on Pound Era um, on an IRC on Freenode. See you around.